high rankings on Google and other search engines are crucial to the success of any online business. If your website can be found on Google's first result page for the right keywords, your traffic and sales will increase. iBusiness Promoter is a proven tool that will bring your website to the top of Google search results. It is the only tool that offers a top 10 ranking guarantee. If you use IBP as described and do not get a top 10 ranking on Google for the keywords of your choice, then we will give you your money back iBusiness Promoter offers everything that you need for professional website optimization, including tools for web page optimization, link building, search engine and directory submission, ranking checks, and much more. Download the free trial version now. Hey, wait, before you go, let me show you exactly how to use Internet Business Promoter software. The software is used to get your website ranked to the top 10 rankings of Google, Yahoo, Bing, MSN, all the major SEO search engines out there. Okay, so what you want to do first is go ahead and go to the internet. Once you go to the internet, just go ahead and go to the website called ibusinesspromoters.com. That again is ibusinesspromoters.com. Let's go ahead and go there now. When you first come to this website, you're going to see um, a video just like you saw earlier. Um, it shows you a lot of things that you will need to know and look through to make sure this is exactly what you're going to be needing. If you have a website and you're trying to get it to the top of Google, then you want to get increased sales and traffic. Go ahead and get this program. Um, it shows you where to download it. Um, you have to start the IBP, follow the instructions, and you'll benefit from the top 10 search engine rankings on Google, Bing, and Yahoo. All right. Um, all you have to do is just go ahead and click download. Once you click download, it'll take you to the download page. Okay. Um, it has uh, all you have to do is install the IBP. You click the optimized image in the IBP's main win window, and you'll get an instant analysis of your website. They guarantee that your website will get the top ten on Google for your keywords of the choice that you use, or uh, your money back. Uh, you'll get more customers and more sales. I mean, how couldn't you love that? Um, this site is also checked by McAfee Site Advisor. That's a security internet and uh, anti-spyware, adware company that uh, certifies everything. Um, so you also have some good proven uh, people who says that this site is really good. All right. Uh, if you want to know more about that, just go to the awards section. Let's go there now. And it'll show you exactly how many awards this company has brought to the table. Okay, this here we go right here. Um, you see a lot of testimonials, a lot of testimonials from different customers, representatives, and how good the uh, program is. I can scroll all day, all day, all day, all day. Um, and then at the bottom is where they finally show you um, how much of a good website and software this program really is, okay? Uh, let's just go all the way. See, I'm still scrolling, but we're going to go ahead and go over here. They have received 5 out of 5 ratings from nearly every software site that has uh, 2 cows, of course, Editor's Choice, 5 stars, uh, 5 globes. You see all these different ones that they gave 5 stars to. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want to try it? And also, it's absolutely 100% risk-free, and you get to download it free to try it out right now. So all you have to do is go ahead and push the Run button. Uh, we're not going to push the Run button right now because I already have the software so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out um, and this is going to be the internet promoter um, the internet business promoter let's go ahead and start now okay this is the internet business promoter the first thing you see on here is the keywords the optimization the link building the submission the rankings the competitor spy and the tools Okay, from the tools, you can actually get to a lot of different things. You can get from the static web page editor, your HTML validator, your broken link checker. Um, you have a lot of different things that you can try from there, okay? So what you want to do first is go ahead and go to new. Uh, you want to type in a website name, a website name. Let's see. Let's try a good website like uh, Nifty Fits, N-I-F-T-Y-F-I-T-S dot com. All right, it's going to go ahead and uh, 
validate that and gather all the information from that website. So you really don't have to do anything but just sit back and relax. Okay, now that it's got it up there, uh, it wants you to put in a keyword that you want to rank high for. So I'm going to go ahead and put a good keyword, maybe a longer keyword that you want to start out with because you know the shorter the keyword, the higher the competition. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put three words. Maybe I'm going to put uh, men's designer clothing. All right, that sounds good right there. Let's go ahead and go to next. It's going to check the top 10 rankings for all of these uh, websites, all right? So what you want to do is already the updated the picture. You want to go ahead and push OK, all right? Now it created you a project right here. You see it, Nifty Fits. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and check the rankings, okay? I'm going to go ahead and check the rankings and see what my website ranks for, okay? Okay, great. Now we're in the uh, rankings tab. Uh, what you want to see is they have for that nifty fits they have uh, a lot of different keywords that they automatically got from the website all right it's checking it all against google but what if you really didn't want to check all those keywords just against google what if you want to check one major keyword out of a lot of different search engines someone you may not even know about what you want to do is go over here to edit settings um you can go ahead and check the keywords see there's all those keywords i don't want all those keywords so i want to stick to my main keyword that was going to be men's designer clothing um, okay I'm gonna go ahead and push to the next one check the URL that's the URL that I want to check for um, the search engines now this is a big major player check this out I have major players on here from uh, the main ones you know um, Bianco, Bing, AOL, Google, Yahoo um, if you want to you can go ahead and right click it and select all the search engines um, and keep it like that or you can switch from any language you can check from uh, you know Filipino you can check from German websites you can check from uh, Russian websites Spanish websites and the different countries that they're in if you have a website that you know mainly pertains to Spanish uh, what you want to do is go ahead and um, I have another project online um, but this was just a tester so I wouldn't have to put in all these but look what I do right here I'm gonna check is it another project so I'm gonna go to this project that I already have it automatically clicks the ones that I want in the English language now it has all these different ones that's checked okay um, and that's the ones that I want to go check by all right so if you actually look at them look a lot of different ones and this is just for the English language just for the English language all right so I'm checking all these I'm gonna go ahead and say my search step uh, I don't want to go just for the first 10 you know maybe I want to check for what's on page one and stop the checking ranks once they found a keyword okay um, I'm going to go ahead and push OK and then watch everything change over here in the left side. Now I got that same main men designer keyword, um, but now I have a lot of different search engine results that I can go ahead and check for. And it's easy. You know, all you have to do is just go ahead and push the start button. Push the start button. And watch how fast this process goes for you. I mean, it checks it so fast, it's mind-boggling. Now, do keep in mind that this is not my website, uh, niftyfits.com, so I'm just checking it because I noticed that it wasn't at the top of uh, the Google rankings. Um, you don't really want to try to test a website that's already at the top 10 of Google rankings because it's not really going to do you good. It analyzes the top 10 websites that you're not on to see how you can get there. Um, so now, um, for that men's designer clothing, um, I'm already on page one of Bing, um, Locos, or Lycos, Yahoo, MSN. Look at all that. Page one, page one, page one. Um, and it's pretty good so far. So it's, it's ranking me up. Um, and now it says it's finished. All right. So now look at this. One, 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 and one. All right. Now, what about this? Remember I said I didn't want to do it because it was not on Google what if I say okay so where is it at do I have to recheck it and go back through everything no all you have to do is go back to re-edit settings you can go ahead and go to the search um, depth 
try to go for three pages instead of just one page and watch these watch this this is so fast you don't even have to pay an seo company to do all this for you You can do it on a daily basis and plus you can schedule it while you're at work or while you're on vacation while you're eating while you're drinking at the bar with your friends it'll automatically get the top engine submissions it'll automatically rank your pages for you every day or every bi-weekly weekly monthly which is recommended um and look at this already got some page twos that's coming up you're going to go ahead and start seeing a lot more page um twos coming up as it starts to index all right um here it goes right here remaining 19 ranking checks remaining by 50 seconds left um, and it's still coming up. I got some page threes on here. So see how fast this actually goes for you. Um, this is a very, very good software. Right now I have it on mute. At the end of it, it would just really loudly say finish. So you don't have to keep coming back and check it to see if it's done or not. If you have a lot of keywords that you want to check against a lot of search engines, it automatically say done really loud and you can hear it over the room. All right, so this is almost done. You only have one more concurrent connection. By the way, you can use uh, uh, about 16 at the max current connections at the same time. So now you see uh, there's that Google right here. It says I'm on page two. So now what if I want to get to page one on Google? What would I do? I'll tell you exactly what you do. You'll go ahead and exit out of here. Now it brought me back to the main screen. Uh, I want to see exactly why I'm not number one on Google, or at least the top 10. So what I want to do is go to the tab, the second block, and it says optimization tool. I'm going to go ahead and press that, OK? And here we are at the uh, top 10 optimizer page. Uh, what happens here is you can go ahead and generate a report. I generate a report and see exactly why you're not at the top of 10 um, for the keyword men's design and clothing on a search engine, google.com, for your web page at niftyfits.com. Um, any of these you can change at any given time. Your web page, you can change it from here. Um, you can also change your keyword from here. It's, it comes up at the same thing right here. Um, you can change your keyword right here. Um, and you also have the settings for everything else that you want over here to the left. All right. Um, but for the search engine, if you want to change it, you can change it for any of these or any of the things that you really want um, to actually check for. You can check it for any of these things. OK. Um, and you can also automatically search the major engine. Um, you can edit it um, by categories, languages, names uh, and everything like that. Countries. So let's go ahead and go out of here. I'm going to go ahead and create a report. What the creating the top 10 optimization report does, uh, it gets the required information, it downloads the web pages, creates the web page thumbnails, validates the web page, uh, determines the age of the web page. It gets social network popularity um, from like, you know, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, and then it generates a report. Here's the report that it just generated for me. Why am I not at the top 10? Well, okay, it's going to tell me right here. Uh, it's going to show me the report overview. It says uh, for your web page and against these top 10 ranked people on Google, um, which is Emoda and the Blue Fly, you know, Armani Exchange. Of course, they'll be all the top 10, you know. Um, how can I start to beat them? Okay, well, let's look at the bottom. You're at 57%. 57%? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see why. All right, well, for some of the main SEO tactics I failed on, you know, it said factors that failed, seven. Factors that passed, 20. Some of those are really essential, and I failed the essential ones. The very important, I didn't fail any of those. The important ones, I still felt some, and I passed a lot of them, but it goes in order. Moderately important, slightly important, uh, all the total of how much I did, and shows you a pie right here. The table of contents, you can easily click one of these, and it takes you to exactly what you need on this whole report, because this report is big. I mean, it has the H1s, the H2, the H6s, the image alts, I mean, the number of backlinks which is really good and essential um, it has your meta description it has your uh, keyword use in the title your keyword densities um, the body and the bold text a lot of these things that people knew but they didn't know it was that important I mean like dimensions on a social sites Facebook Twitter and MySpace um, what else uh, they have delicious.com 
um, your service speed, how fast your, your your website comes up is very big in Google because if it's slow, it's going to start saying it's, it's not fast enough where people really want to wait around. So you're going to have a bigger bounce rate. Let's go ahead and go to the keyword use in the document title. Uh, it says right here that this is very essential for the keyword use in the document title. Um, it ranks you against the top 10 and you start seeing just the title for the top 10 um, websites on Google for that key term. All right. Uh, then it shows my contents, uh, Miss Designer Clothing. All right. It says, hey, the keyword density is too high. It should be at a 20% maximum. Consider adding more text to lower the keyword density. Uh, that means that, hey, nobody else, maybe but one person, has that in their whole entire title for that keyword. Let's see. I have Miss Designer Clothing. Men's designer clothing, they have an apostrophe, so they really didn't count that. Um, men's designer clothing, you see how the apostrophes really affect it? Um, here you go, men's designer clothing right there. If I would have put an apostrophe in it, maybe I would have came up for some good ones. That lets you know that that term, what, slash men, but a lot of people don't even put this, you know, the uh, apostrophe on there. I wouldn't even worry about that too much. But it says right here that uh, for individual words as men's uh, designer and clothing, um, you ranked okay, but the density is too high. I might have to add more keywords to get it down to 7% instead of 11. Maybe I'll add a couple of more um, designer clothes, uh, maybe two more different ones. You know, I could take some from up here and start to see. Um, I could put jeans and shoes and um, accessories and I will probably reach that 7%, all right? Um, and that will actually make that 57% skyrocket back up because that's the most, most essential thing in the document, okay? Um, over here, it shows the number of backlinks. If you can see it, sorry for the scrolling. The number of backlinks is really essential. Um, it shows how many web pages link to your site, my site, or their site. It only has 498 people that link to their site. The unique backlinks is only 256. Look at the top. This is weird. 419 to 471. So what does that mean? Um, it says, keep in mind that the raw number of linking web pages is not as important as the quality of the web pages that link to your site. So just because I have backlinks coming back doesn't mean that... Um, I'm going to still rank very high. Now, if I get some PR ones or page rank ones, page rank twos, page rank threes, people to link back to my site, yes, I will have a very, very good uh, ranking because they're all good people saying that this site is worth it. Look at all this. Um, this site number five has 15,000 backlinks from Alexa. SEO profiler says it has 21,000 unique backlinks and it's still not number one. So what does that tell you? Like I said, it's not as important as the quality of the web pages that link to your site. Okay. Um, so what are we going to do over here? Anchor text of the backlinks is essential. What kind of words you use to, uh, you know, link to your site. Boom, it found them all over the web. Then it shows you what pages link to your site right here. Look at all these pages. Remember it's at 460 something? Um, yeah, it's gonna show you every single one of those ones that it goes up. Um, and see if you have enough to even get in the category. Yes, I have enough backlinks, all right? So now I wanna see about the keywords and the body. I mean, is my body okay? Yeah, the girls may say it is, but you know, what about Google? <laughs> What about MSN? What about Yahoo? What about all these other major players and search engines? By the way, you can easily change these at any given time and say, okay, maybe it's not good on Google, but how good is it on Bing? How good is it on Yahoo? How good is it on AOL? You know, um, How good is it on MSN? They have that down there also. Um, you can go over here and it says, although none of the other pages uses a search term, men's designer clothing, it's usually advisable to keep it. So, okay, fine, I'll keep it. It's in yellow. That means it's, it's all right. You know, you could probably do something better. Um, use at least 499 words. Uh, my site only uses 153 words in the content of the body. Uh, well, most people use at least 499 to 2,000 words. So I might have to consider adding more words to that, all right, uh, if I was the uh, webmaster of that domain. 
Um, and it also shows you for, again, not just for the uh, main keyword of men's designer clothing, but for individual words as men's designer and clothing, it shows you if it's too high. And if you want to lower the keyword density, you might want to take one of those words, men, out, or you want to add more text. All right, so you will probably want to add more text because up here it said you need to add more text anyway. So add more text and that will become green. That will become green. You'll make a bigger percentage of hopefully getting up to a number, you know, the top 10. The AGO website, everybody knows the longer it's been there, the longer the uh, search engines think it's not a spam. I mean, it says it right here. Spam sites often come and go quickly. For this reason, search engines tend to trust a website that has been around for a long time over that one that is, that is brand new. The, the age of the domain is seen as a sign of trustworthiness because it cannot be faked. Uh, the data provided by Alexa.com and SEOprofiler.com, two major SEO um, result pages that you want to really get on and uh, trust them. All right, uh, it says your website is about three years old. This is good because the older your website, the better it is for the rankings on Google. All right, so that means here's a uh, SEO trick. If you get a website and you buy the domain name before you even buy the hosting and say you buy the domain name um, and you buy it for a year and it does good within that one year, if it's $10 a year or $12 a year and you already made like maybe five, six hundred dollars on it within the first four months, buy it quickly for at least three to four years. Go ahead and buy the domain because once they see it, it's um, already bought on the who is for three to four years, it's going to start trusting it. Trust me, it's going to start trusting it. And it's going to say, okay, this website says it's going to be around for four or five, six years. So let's see how it really starts to rank up. All right. Uh, besides one that's only going to be up one for one year, and you start to see stats start to lower on other websites when they start to get closer to the expiration date. Uh, oh, this site hasn't even really reserved its spot for the next couple of years and it's finna go down in the next two or three months. Let's go ahead and start de-indexing. Makes sense? Yes, it does. Um, keyword use in the H1 headline text. Um, it shows that, you know, H1, I didn't even use any H1, but it said it was okay because it says zero out of zero. People use that keyword for uh, H1. You know, everyone says H1 is really good. Yes, it is. But if no one else for that keyword is using it, how would you know unless you had an SEO optimizer like this to show you? This is a very, very good software to use. Um, and it shows it everything is good on there. So just like before, I don't have to explain it. It shows it um, for the keywords men, designer, and clothing. Um, you can start using the keywords men, designer, and clothing at least once, but it is optional. All right. Um, keyword use in the domain name. It shows you all that. Keyword use in the page URL. Men's designer clothing. Mentions on social sites. I really want to get to this because now how long would it take you not only to find out if it's on all of these big SEO or all of these big search engines, your website has all these backlinks. What about the good social sites? How many Facebook mentions? How many Google? How many Twitter t tweets do you have on there? How many delicious.coms do you have on here? Well, it's going to automatically show you. It found them for you that quick, that quick. What other software you know that could really do that? Go ahead, go to ibusinesspromoters.com. Download your free vi your free version and get it now. All right, uh, server speed, it shows your site right here. Your H2, your H6s, um, you know, it shows you exactly how good you're ranking on that. Your image attributes, uh, let's see. Do you have the text over here with your image file names? Those things are important. Those things are really important. I mean, you don't really have to worry about, oh, um, what if I buy the software and I don't like it? Uh, screw that. Screw that. Go ahead and get the free version, the trial, and use it as much as you want. Even once it expires, um, you don't get the updates until you, you know, you buy the updates, but you can get to use it as much as you want. You know, but what if Google changes from um, Panda to Monkey or Midget or whatever? Um, you know, you're going to want those updates to make sure you stay in compliance with Google and staying your rankings keep going up while everyone else's keep falling down because they don't have a software like this. 
um, you go ahead and use that. The top level domain names, the keyword use, and the bold body text. That's very important. It is well, it's important. Um, it shows you what you should be using, men's designer clothing. Um, no one else has it in bold text, so I'm good. Um, it says uh, remove the search term men from the bold. All right, good. I need to do, I need to do that. I bet you whoever owns this uh, domain is like, oh, I need to get this right now. Nifty Fits ranking 751, 3,000, uh, I'm sorry, 751,360 in Alexa traffic ranking, all right? That is not good because if you actually look at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, the average ranking is 101,000. I'm not even in the average rankings, all right? Um, this has the best ones right here 909 on alexa nordstrom you know you know nordstrom is good so i wouldn't even worry about that but you know it tells you how you can get closer all right um it has a lot of things over here keyword outbound texas uh let's see keyword use in the same domain urls um, this optimizer really helps you out tells you exactly in english format or spanish or whichever one you choose to get exactly what you need to do um, or what you need to take out or add to make your website seo profitable okay uh, you don't really need to trust in the, another seo uh, company to hopefully get you there the keyword use in the meta description remember how they said that was coming down yeah, well, it did come down. You see how I'm already closer to the bottom, and it says it's moderately important, but it still is important, okay? So it tells you what you need to do, what you need to take out. Right now it says I'm good, 38 to 13, 13 to 9, 13 to 13, 13 to 4. Uh, 13 to 9% as a total, I'm okay. All green there, all green there. I can always tweak it up a little bit. You know, it takes a couple of long nights um, experimenting, but, you know, that's what this is for. You can have this unlimited. You can keep creating reports, keep creating reports. HTML validation of the web pages. Um, you can just go to that, and it'll show you what, why your HTML is uh, not valid. Your CSS is not valid. Readability of your web page. Um, don't even know how to pronounce this word, but uh, they have something called a flesh reading e score. It's like uh, shows you how good your page is to understand for the search engines and the uh, computers. Um, so my site is 100, or this site is 100, compared to the one out of 10, theirs is not so good because it says uh, a score of 60 or 80 is considered to be optimal. But with 100, I mean, like, wow, okay. Um, so now that's good. Keyword use in the first sentence of the body. Wow, right here. Okay, I'm okay over here. You know, search term is good for it. Um, my search term doesn't even have it in there. So for the first words, it has sign in, customer service, wish list, shopping bag, you know, but. It's okay. Look at this. Advice. It gives advice. Search engines need to text uh, need text to index your web pages to determine the theme of your website and produce a site summary. They cannot read what is written on your graphical images, of course, or in a flash movie. Google rep uh, recommends to create a useful, information-rich site, uh, fresh, uh, continuously updated content, Content is uh, one of the best ways to ensure that search engines return your website, return to your website. So it starts to tell you what you can actually start doing um, different for your website, your meta refresh tags, your meta robots tags, your meta title re tags, uh, your meta tags twice. I mean, it shows you exactly what you need to do, factors that could prevent your top ranking. It shows you everything from backlinks to your web page, your web page, search engine result page, negative ranking factors. You should be able to say no to all of the following questions, all right? All of this stuff. You know, you remember the big thing? Like one of the big ones right here is, is your content very similar or a duplicate of existing content? How many times have people created automated things, you know, automated sites and uh, the title and the description and the keywords is duplicate from the other pages even though they may have different stuff on the page um you know these uh flash by night porn sites and stuff google's going to start de-indexing them because they know they're automated they're all duplicate you can't make uh a thousand five thousand different pages and they all have the same keywords titles and um descriptions they're going to know it's fake all right so it's going to tell you exactly what you need down here and where your rankings stand at so that's 
Um, just a little summary on how the optimizer works. Um, real quick, I didn't want to go too long in it, but let's, let's go to the next subject, which is going to be um, over here. Okay, and I'm back. And uh, what we're going to do is go to the main page again, and uh, we're going to check out some other things that it has to offer us. Offer us. Um, it's going to be keywords, uh, link building, submission, uh, competitor spy tools. Um, what we're going to do right now is uh, we're just going to breeze through a couple of these, like the keywords and the link building and the competitor sp spy, and then uh, we'll go to the actual submission pages, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the keywords. Now, look, we're in the keywords. Keywords is just like the Google uh, key tool, keyword tool. Um, you can put your keywords in here. Um, the main keyword I guess we were using today was going to be uh, men's designer clothing. Um, let's see what it comes up for that term. I'm going to search. All right, they got one, 820, all right? Um, and then if you want to get more, uh, of course, that's why mine's rank a little bit higher. You can put men's designer um, search, and it comes up with a lot more. Um, of course, the smaller your keyword is, the more you're going to come up with. So we can go ahead and put men's and see how that ranks up. And you can put men's clothes. Push enter, and it shows you all the keywords that you want to do. If you want to add one, you could just put one, add another one, put another one, and then switch to editor and optimizer, and you can start adding those keywords in and try to rank big for those. All right, I would try to use some that don't have a lot of competition, like men's cheap designer clothes, uh, uh, men's clothes shops, or um, Gap men's clothes, uh, men's workout clothes, something like that, all right? Um, but this is just the basic of managing your keywords. There's a lot of different things that can help you right here in the help tab, and the more keyword things, more tools over here. Um, let's go ahead and switch back to the main page, okay? Now we're back in the main page and we're going to go for link building. Link building. Um, this is really good because what it does is uh, it links a lot of different people and websites to your blog or website. Um, let's go ahead and go there now. Now we're back in the link building, the link manager. Um, this is where you can get a lot of uh, different uh, prospects to have links to, you know, good PRs, uh, page rank sites. Uh, you can, all you have to do is just add sites, find websites with link suggestion forms that's recommended. You can find existing backlinks to your site or find blogs that you can link to. Uh, find existing backlinks to your competitors, which we're going to go through next, um, competitor spying. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But you can go ahead and add links. Um, once you add links, it says, uh, let's go ahead and go to... Uh, this form right here. Uh, you could in a, put general keywords and they'll find everything that has to do with that keyword, all sites, and they'll automatically, they'll automatically uh, put all those sites, find the uh, link suggestion forms, and it'll let you go ahead and put your URL, your, tinx, your, sorry, your text link and your description over here, uh, notes about the site and where you found the URL. Uh, it also has an automatic email uh, sender out so you can put the uh, recipient's name, the email, the subject, the email subject, um, and how you want this site ranked. Um, I decided to um, wait for you to put your site on my link or put your, my link on your site before I say it's okay for you to put mine or vice versa, things like that, okay? Um, you have a lot of different things that you can go to that'll help you with this. Um, it also generates a report, so once you finish getting all those sites, um, by the way, it grabs thousands and thousands of sites. It depends on how many you want. You could generate a report, and they'll generate that report and show you exactly you know, who's been linking to you and everything, all right? So let's go ahead and go back out of this one. It's time for us to go to the competitor spy. Um, you want to get a good competitor and see that that person is already ranked top 10 on Google, Yahoo, or MSN, Bing, um, all those good sites, and see why they're ranked and what their backlinks are. Let's go ahead and go there now.
So now here comes the good part. I don't think any other SEO software has this. You can spy on your competitors. I mean, really, you can really find out what backlinks they have to make them so high up in the uh, Google rankings. Um, and you can steal those, actually. Um, so for the Nifty Fits, let's see if our competitor will be something like Nordstrom's. Nordstrom's. Dot com. Get some info on this. Bam. Uh, we got five stars. All right. Analyze website. Nordstrom has number one ranking in Google's organic top 50 results. Uh, you could find like 8,000 ads that advertise the site on Google AdWords or 42,769 backlinks from other websites that point to this website nordstrom.com i mean you can actually find these look at this four square about nordstrom uh trip advisor store locate us these kind of people are already uh, like pr1 pr1s that you want to go ahead and start linking to so if you really want to get all these backlinks all you have to do is click on this right here that says backlinks and it has exactly where their backlinks are and exactly what their keyword term is that they're using to uh create a link on their backlinks for that site all right look at all these look at all these these are some of the top ones all right um most of the time it's just using nordstrom so you know it, it just shows you what you can do and say if you wanted to go ahead and find out more about that site you can actually just click on one of these links and say okay uh he has nordstrom and it's going to be on a2kbrazil.org uh what the hell is that you're going to go ahead and go here and then it shows you um a 2 kbrazilorgbr as a uh, 21 ranking in Google organic top 50. Um, got to find no ads, but it has 1600 um, backlinks and it shows you what all those backlinks are and what the position are, what the search results are um, and the date they were put there. I mean, come on, what else can you ask for? I mean, this is one of the top softwares in the world and no one even knows about it, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you about it right now because you were wondering how my site keeps coming up on make money or how to make money or make money online on top Yahoo sites. Yes. You know, we do generate, uh, about two, $3,000 per day, but you know, this is the kind of software that we use to get up there. You know, um, this software paid for itself in one day. It paid for itself in one day. The next day I bought the business one and you can have actually unlimited, unlimited URLs on your actual page. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here and, uh, go to the main site, show you what I'm talking about. All right, let's go. Now we're back at the main page again, and what I want to show you is why um, I only have two up here. How many can you really have? Well, on this one, I have the standard edition. I'm just showing you the standard edition. Um, this is just because this is another one of my computers, and it's just to show you um, what it really means to get up in the rankings of Google, okay? So what I'm gonna show you is on the administration page, it shows what are the limitations of this edition, all right? It shows you every time it actually upgrades itself, look at this, 18th of July, 23rd of July, 25th, 26th, and you automatically get these as long as you stay up to date, all right? Um, the limitations of this edition, currently you can manage up to five projects on this edition. If you upgrade to the business edition, you can manage an unlimited number of projects and domains. That means you will have unlimited domains that you can have automatically going in by scheduled events, by scheduled events. Um, the scheduler right here, um, what it does is you can add a task, you can do a rankings check, and you can have it set to where it goes, um, export the rankings, or you can have it check monthly or weekly. Uh, weekly, you can have it every single bi-weekly or every two weeks or every three weeks, four weeks, or whatever you want to do. Um, cancel that out. Um, you can also have it for the submission where it could do the same thing. I don't ever save a report, so um, it does the same thing. You could do it daily, but it's recommended to do it monthly, and it shows you what day, what time, 
um, and what month or whatever that you want to have yours done on. Or you could just have it done on the first of every single month and keep IBP running in the background and it automatically do it for you and generate reports and send it to you while you're drinking your alcohol or while you're eating your lunch or while you're at work. That's very important because if you're at work, you can't do SEO optimization. A lot of companies don't allow you to be on the internet, but this will do it all for you while you're here. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the submission. This is the biggest part. And then I'll go ahead and end this tutorial. Um, let's go here now. Okay, this is going to be the last part of our tutorial for today for the Internet Business Promoter um, software. Uh, what happens here is we have a lot of different uh, submission uh, SEOs and uh, search engines that we can submit to and it submits to all of them okay um, so this is just the bottom let me scroll up to the top as you can see they have all different languages uh, all different countries and if it's submitted or not which uh, search engines are going to go by Australian Canadian uh, French German uh, English down here uh, what I usually like to do is I go to the tools once I go to the tools, I can just easily uh, submit all to not submit it. It's not submitted, so I don't have to worry about that. I could check all. See, all of them been checked, and then I have conflicts. See that conflict? It only accepts submissions in German or uh, submit submissions from Canada. Um, all you have to do is just go to the tools and then uncheck conflicting search engines, so that way you won't have a problem with it slowing it down. You don't need to sum submit to something that's not going to accept you anyway. Who cares? Um, but it's a lot of search engines. Look at this search engines everybody knows about these search engines anox talking about entire web fiber search ghetto search everything that's on here jade.com um you saw all these when i was already in a ranking how did i get so many rankings yes that's why we make three thousand um thirty five hundred dollars per day because we already su submit to all these different websites um and even this dot fr which is french it accepted it so okay i'm in a french search engine now um all you have to do from here is say, okay, what what about the keywords? Oh, that's the best part. You can edit submit. All right, so now you got the submission URLs. That's the URL that you want. Or if you want a certain page for each individual one, you can submit certain pages. Um, it's good to only just submit your main page, but if you want to, you can go ahead and submit a whole lot of different ones. Um, the category that you want it in, and you can have business, clothing, or you can have over 100 plus different uh topics that you want to submit to um and also at ad academic adult and personal adult is very famous on that and it will tell you if this search engine allows adult or not you could just unclick uh conflicting search engines and it will, will not search will not submit to those so you won't get banned that's uh very good on there so if you have an adult uh niche then you want to go ahead and do that uh, the title and keywords uh, look at this. You can automatically get title from the web page that you're on, and they'll put it on the top. And then you can edit it or however you want to. Uh, search engine, uh, the submission keywords. Yeah. For all these that you want to submit to, what if you want to submit more than one word? What if you want to submit 10 words? Then go ahead and submit them. Uh, you have to do at least five keywords or key phrases, one per line. So if I wanted to just take all these out and put uh, men's designer clothing it says boom I have it right there but I got to at least put four more that's how optimizes you want to at least put five keywords in there okay um, but you know I don't want to do that I could add that on if I want to just put that on there too and just get the keywords from that page and all of a sudden it'll be back on you know uh, I have all, all that back on and then I could just put my other main keyword like I said men's designer clothing back on the top copy paste and it'll submit all of those also it has the descriptions it automatically generates the descriptions for you. You can change them from the short, normal, and long. Um, it shows you the max, the minimum, and it automatically does the max for you, the, uh, the max for each individual one. So you won't get banned by having too long or too short of a description. It automatically gets the description from the meta tag if you push it there for each page. Alternative descriptions. This is where if you want to do a manual submission, you can have a random amount of descriptions and titles say if you want to have three different kind of titles for the manual description well it'll shuffle all these up in all these different ones so therefore you won't always have the same ones you can it'll be just like if you were submitting to um, 
a PPC campaign or a CPC, a PPV campaign, something like that, all right? Your name and your email, so you can go ahead and put all that information in there just in case the, the search engine would like you to do that. Postal information, you can make up one, or if you have a really good personal business, you can go ahead and put all that stuff in there. You don't need the fax or the toll-free number, but it's optional. You can put it in there. Um, the state, you can put it in there. Um, you also have the country, you can put them all in there. So you can create a submission report and everything, and you can go ahead and submit. I'm not going to submit this one because this is not my domain, and if you submit too much, um, it will start to ban you from the search engine saying you're um, over spamming your website. So I'm, I haven't submitted it at all. Um, this is not my uh, domain, but uh, it was just to show you what it would look like. I could show you some of my domains, but they're all going to be top 10 on Google. I have about 13, actually 16, 17 of them um, that's actually top on uh, Google for at least two to three different key terms. Um, but if it did submit for right here, it'll automatically start to submit and it'll show you submitted, not yet submitted, and it'll go through all of them. And it, when it says done, it'll say done real loud and you'll be finished. Okay. So uh, you have also semi-automatic that means that you can actually put what you want to in each individual one. You have paid links, free links, English searching, and everything. Um, you can have all kind of things that you can put. Look at all this. So let's go ahead and go out, and we'll go to the main page. And there you go. That's going to be the end of the Internet Business Promoter Tutorial. Download the free trial version now.